So we've just been hearing from Jurgen Klopp here at the AXA Training Centre and yes, Liverpool have got another game coming up. It's absolutely relentless at the moment, isn't it? But they've got to get that Carabao Cup final win out of the heads because there's a fifth round FA Cup tie against Southampton at Anfield coming up and we've just been hearing from the gaffer ahead of that and I'll start with probably... The most important news, really, of all, which is the, the team news. Obviously, everyone were wondering who's going to be back, who's going to be available for this one. And there were quite a few interesting updates. Now, Jurgen Klopp, of course, started with the fact that he's going to have to really assess his players when they when they come in for today and, and have a look at how people are shaping up, how the recovery's gone after that mammoth effort they put in against Chelsea at Wembley. But there was a few interesting team news updates that he was able to give at this point. Now, I'll start with Ryan Gravenberg. Of course, he was forced off against Chelsea, wasn't he, with that after that nasty challenge from Moises Caicedo could have been a yellow maybe even could have been a red card and, and actually ended up in neither but it was quite clear when he got stretched off that it was going to be an issue there and Klopp has confirmed that is an ankle ligament injury unfortunately for Gravenberg but he did actually say he said it could have been a lot worse and he says at the moment we'll have to see how the recovery goes but he knows at the very least that Gravenberg is going to be out the next two fixtures which of course is this game against Southampton and then the game away at Forest at the weekend so a blow for Liverpool but you would have to say with the way things have been going with injuries and the recurrences and the, the you know the length of time that Liverpool have been losing players for I'd actually take a two game absence now that doesn't seem actually too bad although it does of course affect the options that Jurgen Klopp has for this game and they are really thin on the ground at the moment now he could do with a major boost, couldn't he, in terms of the three players that we know were in and around the cup final and could have maybe made it but didn't, and that is Darwin Nunes, Mo Salah and Dominic Sobersly. Now, of that three, he just says it's still touch and go in terms of whether they'll be available for this one. They have to see whether they're able to take part in training, the training session that's supposed to be happening today, later today, um, and, and hopefully Liverpool will get the boost. I mean, I wouldn't imagine that any of those would be involved in the starting lineup for these one, this one, even if they were fit, but be such a boost wouldn't it to have them on the bench the ability to win the game off the bench that they would provide it would be absolutely massive for Liverpool so as I say Jurgen Klopp says it's touch and go so we'll have to see how things pan out on that front but it would be absolutely massive to get that those three back or you know even if they could be in contention for the weekend against Nottingham Forest we'll have to see now uh, he did actually give a, a couple of, of long-term updates on, on a couple of players who've been missing for a while that's of course Thiago Alcantara and Stefan Bajcetic and Mixed news, really, I have to say, on, on that front. Now, with Thiago, he said, unfortunately, he was asked whether Thiago Alcantara, the extent of his injury, has become clearer now. There's been a little bit of time since he sustained that. You'll remember he came back against Arsenal, made a brief substitute appearance, and then was forced off not forced off the pitch but after that game it emerged he's had a setback in, in the, uh, and, and now we've had confirmation from Klopp that it could in fact be Thiago's season over unfortunately he confirmed that it was an issue he says it's not a short term thing and he confirmed it's a, an issue in the same area of course it missed the start of the season due to a uh, undergoing surgery on his hip and unfortunately it's his hip again that is causing problems and obviously Thiago now may miss the, the end of the season may miss the entirety of the rest of the season Jurgen Klopp has confirmed which is really a, a blow for Liverpool I know Thiago has not been involved but it would have been so nice to have him during this run in as an option to, to help see games out or even make the odd start with Liverpool competing on three fronts after completing that League Cup quest now we'll have to you'll have to see of course whether that actually means that Thiago Alcantara's Liverpool career is over at completely I mean, I suspect it, it may be, to be honest, if he doesn't make an appearance this season because his contract obviously runs out at the end of this season and I don't expect that he will be getting a renewal. So we could maybe have seen the last of Thiago Alcantara in a, a Liverpool shirt, which is a real shame, a, a class act, but you'd have to say overall his Liverpool career may be on the side of it being a bit of a failure now because of those repeated injuries and he's missing now an entire season, his final season at the club. It's a, a real shame the setbacks he's had physically. Uh, now, Fortunately, there was slightly better news on Stefan Bajcetic. Now, he's only made two appearances this season because of an adductor issue. Uh, he came back in, in September and made two appearances there, but unfortunately was still feeling pain in his body and couldn't play through it. So Liverpool have uh, uh, pulled him out of first-team training for quite a while now, obviously, uh, and he's only he's not been able to add to those two appearances. But we have had a further update from Klopp today, and as I say, it's a positive one, I think. He says that Stefan is now completely pain-free. But he hasn't had the green light to return to training yet. But I would say from that update, the fact he's completely pain-free. And Jurgen Klopp said he watched him actually. He was having lunch at the AXA and watching over the side and watching Stefan Bajcetic do going through his physical work and, and training individually. And he said, you know, I looked at him and, and almost couldn't believe he's not available to play. He looked that good. So that for me is a, a huge positive. No green light to return to team training yet. But 
he sounds like he's closer than ever and certainly he has been at any point this season to coming back so that is exciting news I think if again with Bajcetic if he can play any part in the running be a rotational option allow to rest players in the last few minutes of games that would be absolutely massive and we know he's a really quality player isn't he despite the fact he's still only 19 so it would be great to get him back soon and hopefully we are closer than ever to seeing that um, now of course with all these injuries uh, updates that, that were provided it, it gives you an idea of the fact that this is going to be a, a really really difficult team selection for Klopp isn't it and he spoke a little bit about that in, in the press conference said that yesterday was effectively just dedicated to recovery sessions and, and looking after the players and seeing where they're up to and the only training session that Liverpool will get ahead of Southampton will be the one that they have later today so a really difficult selection coming up for the manager maybe a young one in fact maybe have a look on my YouTube channel I've had a go before the press conference at picking a lineup and the one I went with is extremely youthful I have to be honest maybe you'll disagree but it's worth checking that out to see what you think and maybe letting me know in the comments what your lineup would be but of course because he accepts that this is a, a difficult lineup to make and it's not going to be Liverpool's strongest team by any means he he made the point that Liverpool the team are really going to need Anfield they need that atmosphere to, to roll them on and he, he you know he cited the fact that at Wembley it was massive for Liverpool and it, of course it was against Luton as well that, that 4-1 win where Liverpool were trailing for so long uh, went on to win that one handsomely they needed the Anfield crowd and I've no doubt against a very good football in Southampton side they're going to need that support again tomorrow so Klopp calling for that uh, and another thing just to round off is uh, the review of his press conference another thing he touched on was actually the fact that Liverpool now they've got silverware on board there have been reports in the aftermath of that Carabao Cup final win that there could be a, an end of season trophy parade now it's been suggested it would also be a bit of a farewell to Jurgen Klopp but when he was asked about it he actually wasn't very comfortable about the idea it would be anything to do with him he's more about celebrating the idea of Liverpool winning trophies of course he may still add to those the, the one trophy they've won but he, he very much seemed on board with a parade if it was about the trophies but rather not about the fact that he's having a farewell so maybe that's something we'll see updates on in the coming months in terms of Liverpool having an end of season parade it would be great to have a send off for Jurgen Klopp even if he doesn't want it to be about that wouldn't it it'd be great to thank him for all he's done for the football club so I'm sure we'll have updates on that as the months move on now that's the end of my press conference review here at the AXA training centre and as usual let me know in the comments how you're feeling about this game against Southampton what do you think the team news team is going to look like for this one and also don't forget to check out my team selector as well on the on my YouTube channel uh, and as usual I'm going to ask if you can please like and subscribe and I will see you after the Southampton game for my usual post-match review and as per usual we'll be checking in on whether Liverpool are still looking for a quadruple